Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So I gotta slap down the holy water. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bale of Louie. He is out like a light. Sweet little boy. Oh, Pisces. How are you doing today? You doing good. I hope you're doing good. I have got the goosebumps today, baby. Oh, my goodness. I need some lotion, too. I'm looking kind of ashy. <laughs> so, anyway, enough about my lotion problems. <laughs> so, you know what time it is. Tarot is now in session. Most Honorable Judge T.T. Dong presiding. Go ahead and stretch on out and lay in bed and eat your sandwich. <laughs> So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be coming towards you. Hell, it might be all of your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together. Just like we always do, baby. Yeah. Ooh, it's so cold in here. Oh, my God. I don't know what. It's going to get hot, though, right? Oh, Jesus. It's, well, it's getting hot already today. I don't know. Then I'll probably start having air conditioning problems again because then, the yeah, and then I'll be back in the house will be 95 degrees again and I'll be doing naked tarot this week, it looks like. Yep. Remember like two or three weeks ago I was doing naked tarot because, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the air conditioner isn't working, blah, blah, blah. Everything's on one circuit and then when it's too hot, the compressor never kicks off. So then basically the air conditioning won't, run because it's all on one circuit and then i'm in here suffering it's horrible 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 show me the energy the person my beautiful pisces is dealing with show me the energy the person my what's that I caught, I don't, caught right in my dress i have a dress on today show me the energy oh, brother what do we got oh no pisces <laughs> Oh boy. All right. Let me pull out my sword. Down here on the table, we've got the four swords. We've got the page of pentacles. We've got the five of pentacles. The overall re energy for the reading is the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles is all about, well, you're very skilled at what you do. It's the craftsman card, right? Working towards what? Your nine pentacles, a sense of liberation. So what? You can get to your ten pentacles and have more financial stability, or it could be just stability in a connection. I don't know. Four swords. Here's your person. Your person's the groundhog here. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, Pisces. I've been in the house. My groundhog hole all winter long, and I just came out to see if you were here. I feel like there's some healing here that needs to transpire between the two of you, but I don't see you, Pisces. Should I, should I go back in my groundhog hole again? I don't know. Okay, so your person's a groundhog. Okay. <laughs> Page, uh, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is all about, you know, learning, 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 learning. Okay. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Here's your person. Also, the Moist Mushroom Man. Not only are they a groundhog, but they're the Moist Mushroom Man. <laughs> I'm just going to sit out here, and I'm going to live in this self-loathing energy, and I'm going to have a pity party. <laughs> I can go in my house, but now I'm just going to sit out of this town stool, feel sorry for myself. Oh, do you hear that, Pisces? No, you don't, because this person is playing the most tiniest violin that only they can hear. Yep, that's what I'm saying here. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So why is this person feeling so left out here with this Five of Pentacles energy? Why are they feeling so left out? Well, they put themselves out there. Oh, boy. 
So they're <laughs> why are they feeling so left out? They put themselves out there. So now they are spying on you. Oh my God. Oh Jesus Criminy. Literally. They're spying on you. Literally. Five of Pentacles to the Page of Swords. Well, so they're feeling left out. So they just spy. This is uh it's so that's a little weird, right? Because you have an opportunity not to be in the cold. You can you put yourself there. So this person has intentionally put themselves out in the cold so that they could spy on you. I mean, what is that? That is that is insanity. People do this though. They literally do this. They can't handle emotions. They can't handle anything. They don't know how they feel. So then they just become the moist mushroom man and sit up on a watchtower and watch you and observe you. Maybe they got a pair of binoculars for all I know. Maybe they got a watchtower. But they're doing whatever they can, okay? That's probably what this page of pentacles is all about. They're probably getting information here. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's just see what comes out here with the uh, five of pentacles to the page of swords. I'm not even going to ask the universe anything. We're just going to see what's going to fly. Oh, boy, Pisces. The lover's card. Well, that's what they're feeling left out about. Okay. So now we get the answer. Okay. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. I just knew it. I knew it. So, yeah, they're spying on you, Pisces, and they're putting themselves out of this union here. They have an opportunity to be here with you, probably have an opportunity they know to love you, to be in union together here. But instead, they spy on you, which is creepy. It is creepy. And they're in love with you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know about these people, Pisces. We might talk more over there with the voiced mushroom man and the lover's card, but I want to find out what this person's gathering here. What is this information that this person is gathering here with the page of pentacles? What is this information that this person is gathering? They're gathering information about the king of wands. And what is this information about the king of wands? What is this information that they're gathering? Okay, so they're coming to their own conclusion here. This is their energy. King of Wands, right? Okay, it's your person. Fickle in love, right? Likes to come in real hot, and then they're very fleeting and fickle, and then they just, you know, leave. So they're gathering information here about themselves on how they could give to this situation because here they are in their house. Oh, God, I need to get out of here. It's raining and I can't go anywhere. So I'm just going to sit in here with my kitty. The kitty's like, I wish this person would just get out of the house so I could lick my butthole without this person around all the time. Oh, my God, please leave the house. Okay. So, basically, this person is realizing that, you know, <laughs> they're gathering information about their own selves here because <laughs> they're feeling they're feeling rejected here. They're feeling very much rejected here. This person's literally having a pity party. It's got to be the worst party ever to go to. The kitty even wants to leave the pity party. Oh my god, the poor kitty. I feel sorry for the kitty. Let's get the cat out of the house, okay? Take give me the cat. No cat should be in a pity party. Never. Oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. These people. I swear. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh boy. Oh God. And they think it. They're sitting in their house. And they're thinking about you the whole entire time. Six of Cups is also, you know, it's a card of reconciliation here. So, in the back of their mind, they want to reconcile, but they just sit around and uh in that self-loathing energy and they have a pity party oh jesus crime and vices all oh, these people so your groundhog okay they're wanting to fix the situation they're wanting to heal maybe the person the groundhog needs to just heal by themselves but we'll talk to the four swords we'll, we'll do it i gotta decompress I get a lot of air in me, and it's got to move. That's what happens back here. Lots of air builds up in me, and then I got to I got to move it through. So it's like a decompression chamber inside of me. 
it, it starts in my stomach and then it just moves throughout me. Oh, that's better. Okay. Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here in Pisces person's energy? Why is the Four of Swords here? Jesus Christ. Why is the Four of Swords here? Yeah. yeah. What do they need to do here? Okay. It's like they're wanting to come here into you, Pisces. They're putting their boat in their water, in the water, right? Because they're wanting to come in here, Pisces. Because they're clear here on something. And what are they clear on? That this person here has got something here under their sunflower belt that they want to show you, right? Their ace of wands. Whatever it is, this has been their dream come true. To what? To have happiness here in this situation with you, okay? So they're coming in under this four of swords energy here. Yep, they might, you know, literally have to put a boat in the water and uh, paddle across the other side of the river, you know, to get to your other side of the river here to come talk to you and say, hey, Pisces, I, you know, I want this passionate, new, loving beginning with you, Pisces. Oh, boy. Yeah, because you make them happy here at the end of the day. Or they could want to get passion here from you, right? Because they're passionate, their passion, their sensuality here gives them a lot of happiness here. So literally somebody could literally just need an energy dump. Oh my God, Pisces. <laughs> oh, the court. Pisces is not an energy dump. I know that, Judge. I know that. But this person, I don't know. I'm kind of reading it that way too. I mean, I take what take it how you want it. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me, Judge. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close it off with the final messages. We're going to do one card for each sign. Normally, I would like to do an extended, but I don't think I have enough energy here. So it takes energy for this, okay? And I'm not an energy dump either. <laughs> so what else do you want to tell Pisces before I close this mother? Well, what else do you want to tell Pisces before we do one card for each sign? Yep chariot here this person feels like you're their yin to their yang pisces oh yeah pisces this person's got a lot of feelings there's that ace of wands reiterating what i just said and we got the king of cups here okay so here's your person the sea otter pisces hi i'm groundhog and i'm the moist mushroom man and i'm also a sea otter i put myself out in the cold all the time that way i can spy on you from afar but you know secretly you don't know that I, i'm in love with you do you want to do you want to kiss my nose pisces i love you pisces i love i do love you uh, i'm gonna put my boat in my my little boat otter otter boat and I'm going to use my little rudder feet. And I'm going to paddle to the other side of the river. And I want to come talk to you. Maybe we could, you know, hook up. And I like hooking up because that makes me happy. You know, I need a good energy dump here at the end of the day, Pisces. Kiss me. <laughs> King of Cups, sea otter. He's so fucking cute. I probably just let him do an energy dump. Okay. <laughs> Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Oh my God, I'm I'm something else, aren't I, guys? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, this person here, um, they view you here as somebody that's got it all together. Like they want to taste your rainbow. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure, Cancer, what do you feel about? Cancer feels like this is done, dead, and over. Scorp, what do you feel about Pisces? Sure, Scorpio. Oh, they feel. I feel like you're a little bit cold right now. They're very cold right now is what Scorpio's feeling. Like Antarctica cold. Okay. Aries, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure, Aries. Aries. Okay. Well, they like getting together with you here very much. They want to, I think an Aries wants to see you soon. Um, Leo? Sure. Whoop. Leo, you make Leo very happy. Sun energy here. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, they're showing up in their own energy. Okay, Satch. Sag, how do you feel about Pisces? Uh, Sag would really like to fire up your tree here, okay? They're like, ah. You make, you make Sagittarius feel warm and hot and fiery, if you know what I mean. Uh, Libra, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure, Libra. Okay, well, Libras, they want you, okay? You are their desire. Gemini? Sure, Gemini. 
that. Uh, they're very much guarded against you right now. Okay. G oh, did I say G no. Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 sure. Aquarius is like, nope, this is over. It's too late. Too late. Uh, Virgo? Virgo, you guys are not talking because there's some deceptions here. And you guys definitely need to have a conversation, and they do know that. Uh, Taurus. Taurus. Okay, this is... Taurus has got the new love feelings here for you. Uh, Cappy. Cappy is absolutely in love with you here. Oh, my God, Pisces. So, Pisces. Daryl's adjourned.